Now, if you see this, there are certain lines or details which are there, but from this side they are not visible. For example, this line which is starting from, if you go through this, this point, it is going through the width, uh, uh, is total depth of the object and down by 24. So this line is there, but it is not visible over here. This detail I have not shown over here. So this detail needs to be shown. Then how that can be shown? The hidden details are always shown with the dashed lines. It would be drawn in the similar manner as the form lines are drawn. But the only thing is if they are not visible, then they should be drawn with the dashed lines. So how should I go for this? So this is basically this where from this line is starting this line is starting from this surface as is visible in this so this point is basically if you see I have to move this way and come down by 24 so that the starting point would be visible so this starting point would be exactly 24 down from here at this surface so the starting point is there now this is covering the whole width because it is not visible to me this is covering the whole width like this I have drawn it with the dashed line this is firm because it is visible from here but this is the dashed line so the terminating point would be terminating point would be at this end Terminating point would be here and this line will be drawn with a dash, so dashed line. Like this is how the dashed lines are drawn. Dashed lines are drawn when the details are not visible from the viewing side. They are behind the uh, main surface, frontal surface, they are behind but they are there. That is why they are to be drawn and this is how the dashed line is to be drawn. Now, the next important view is the plan. So, I have to view it from the top. So, if I view it from the top, definitely the total width of the plan and elevation is same. So, one thing can be done. Every vertical line needs to be projected because somehow that would be in use in this plane so I am projecting all the vertical lines from here so I have projected all the lines similarly all the horizontal lines need to be projected to draw the to draw the side view so I am taking left hand side view. Now here there are two choices. I can go for right hand side view and I can go for left hand side view. But left hand side view should be preferred because most of the details of this surface are visible and there some assumptions are there. So, so I am taking the left hand side view. So left hand side view how many surfaces are visible? Surface number 1. I am redrawing it. This is the surface number 1 as, is, as was in the uh, frontal view. Uh, elevation and this is the second surface then these two lines are there but will not be visible in the uh, left hand side view so left hand side view would be to the right of this so I know the uh, I know it's uh, now from this side I know width and height so I will I will draw a rectangle which is stating the So now to draw the surface number one, I am selecting this one. So the this line is say 15. So I have to move up by 15. Then this line starting point is there and terminating point is covering the whole width. So this line I have already projected from here. So I need not to again measure the 15 because this height is 15. So I have to move up then move right and then down and with this. So this is the complete projection of surface number 1. 
and simultaneously surface number 2 which is from here. So this line is perpendicular. Now I have to draw the surface number 2. So how to reach there? What can be done? This line is perpendicular to the projection plane when viewing from the left. So its projection is point. So that point is over here. So I have reached in the diagram. I have reached here. Now I have to move up by this distance. I have to move up by this distance. Then complete width and down. So this is the complete projection outside projection of the, of the object from the left hand side. Now these two lines are there as I had mentioned and this one then how to draw this. So these lines are starting from this point or this is the perpendicular line. So I can take the starting point as this. So starting point as this. So it is starting from here and covering the whole width and 24 down. So this is covering the whole width 24 down and this I can project from here. So the line, this would be the starting point, this would be the terminating point and dashed line is drawn for this particular line. Then the second inclined line, how can I go for it? It is basically I have to start from here, I have to come down and then move in 30. So I have to come down, then move in to 30. So this would be starting point, this would be terminating point and this can be drawn over here. Now, the next inclined line is basically this. Suppose this distance is again 15. So, this line is also visible. So, if I draw it over here, so I have to move this distance 15 and from here starting point till the end. So, how this would be there? So, this, which is this point? This point is inside. That is this point. I have to move 15 by this. So, this would be the starting point. For this, this would be the starting point and this would be the terminating point covering the whole width after this. So, this is from this is from the bottom, this is at the 30 height. So, this I have already uh, taken over here. So, this is the height 30. So, terminating point is this, starting point is this, terminating point is 30 this. If I join these, so the projection of this uh, uh, left hand side view is completed. This should be a dash line. This is a dashed line because it is not visible in the left hand side view. So this is a dashed line. So all the dashed lines are projected. This object is completely projected for the left hand side view. Then plan we will take up later on.